एरिथ्रोसाइट और आरबीसी स्टेटिस एरिथ्रोसाइट और आरबीसी इज अ टाइप ऑफ सेल प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द बोन मैरो एंड फाउंड इन द ब्लड आरबीसी डेवलप इन द फीटल लिवर और द एडल्ट बोन मैरो वाया एरिथ्रोपोएसिस एरिथ्रोपोएसिस इज अ प्रोसेस स्टिमुलेटेड बाय एरिथ्रोपोएटिन ए साइटोकाइन हार्मोन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द किडनी व्हेन ऑक्सीजन लेवल्स आर लो RBC are the primary cells in the body's respiratory system as they are responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to all the peripheral parts of the body via hemoglobin and they are very important for nearly all the basic physiological processes the number of erythrocytes in the blood is usually part of a complete blood count test erythrocyte studies are used to look for conditions such as anemia dehydration malnutrition and leukemia in normal blood there are about 5 million rbc per microliter the normal rbc or erythrocyte is shaped like a biconcave disc such that it is thicker at the periphery and thinner in the center rbc have an average diameter of 7.3 micrometers The average RBC remains in the circulation for about 120 days. The lab values related to RBC studies: hemoglobin, RBC count, hematocrit, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, and serum iron. Venous blood is used for an analysis of a CBC or complete blood count. RBC count RBC or erythrocyte are biconcave shaped cell that carry oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and carry carbon dioxide from the peripheral tissues to the lungs. They have a lifespan of 120 days and are removed from the blood by the liver, spleen and bone marrow. Normal ranges of RBC. Male adult 4.5 to 6.2 million cells per cubic millimeter. female adult 4.5 to 5 million cells per cubic millimeter indications for checking rbc count to determine anemia polycythemia dehydration response to treatment reasons of increased level of rbc hemoconcentration dehydration smokers acute stress polycythemia vera high altitude and renal cell carcinoma reasons of decreased levels of rbc anemia hemolysis hemorrhage failure of bone marrow production chronic renal failure needs implications explain the procedure of the test to the patient encourage avoiding stress explain that fasting is not required apply a dressing over the puncture site monitor the puncture site for oozing and hematoma formation then the patient can resume normal activities and diet thank you